two cancer survivors fall in love and marry at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. While the lives of the children in the following story started out difficult, their hardships paved the way for the joy they would experience in the future. Today they realize the significance of their story and why they must share it with the world. It's a love story that's more than 20 years in the making. Joel Alsop As a child, Joel Alsop was an energetic, sports-loving boy who lived in Tennessee. But when he started having problems with his right arm near a bone in his right shoulder, the family learned there was a tumor. Trouble with his arm Joel was seven years old, and he was having a hard time buckling his seatbelt, and I thought he was just messing around, his father, Bob Alsop, told the New York Times. We used to play catch with a tennis ball in the den, and I saw he was reaching with the ball with his left hand. I knew something wasn't right. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital After several meetings with doctors, the Elsop family headed for Memphis for treatment at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Elsop learned that he had osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer which resulted in the amputation of his right arm. Lindsay Wilkerson Around the same time, a similar story was unfolding hundreds of miles away in Missouri. A little girl named Lindsay Wilkerson learned she had acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Wilkerson recalled being frightened by her diagnosis and then about the cost of her treatment. Financial Burden My parents were checking their bank account. They were going to put our house on the market to sell everything to hopefully be able to provide me with the care they could save my life, Wilkerson told Today.com. But St. Jude officials reached out to them to let them know their financial burden has been lifted. Medical Bills the facility never bills their patients for treatment, housing, or food. They reminded our patients that at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we don't have to worry about money, that it's already been taken care of, Wilkerson said, fighting for their lives. Both she and Elsop underwent grueling treatment, and while Elsop's arm was amputated, Wilkerson was receiving three years of chemotherapy. But in the heaviest moments of their lives, the two found each other and developed a deep friendship. St. Jude's Fundraiser They met for the first time in 1993 at a fundraiser for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Both of our families were invited to speak and share our personal St. Jude journeys, Wilkerson said. I remember being very impressed with Joel. He was really cute and had a great sense of humor. Crossing Paths Again I remember very clearly meeting Lindsay for the first time, Elsop said. In the following years, Wilkerson and Elsa would cross paths at other St. Jude's functions or whenever their medical appointments overlapped. After some time, they lost touch when both went off to college. College Wilkerson attended the University of Central Arkansas, where she received a degree in communications, and Elsa went to Middle Tennessee State University, where he majored in television production. Wilkerson's dream, since she was 10 years old, was to come back to work at St. Jude. Dream Job she even spent time serving as a volunteer fundraiser for St. Jude during her college tenure. Then, in May 2003, between college graduation and landing what she called her dream job as an assistant in the event and patient liaison department, Wilkerson got married. Marriage and Divorce Her marriage lasted 12 years until she got a divorce in 2015. Wilkerson shares a 12-year-old daughter, Audrey, and an 8-year-old son, Jacob, with her former husband. She explained to the New York Times that when she became a mom, she began looking at the young patients at St. Jude as if they were her own. Working at St. Jude I used to think, I know what you're going through, I've been there. But having children of my own shook me like an earthquake. It really changed my perspective, Wilkerson said. Eventually, Wilkerson moved to Memphis and took a job in the St. Jude's Fundraising Awareness Organization. Elsop also worked at the hospital, becoming a supervisor in the Creative Media Services Division. Friendship was reignited. Elsop said that the day Wilkerson walked back through the door at St. Jude was the day a friendship was reignited. For the better part of 12 years, we became the best of friends, he said. Their relationship remained platonic until two and a half years ago. Connected We connected on the complexities of our situations and how it changed the way we see the world, Wilkerson said. We have this almost sense of urgency about living life, this gratitude, this desire to give back. In 2016, when Wilkerson was watching a movie with her daughter, Elsop told her, I love you, began dating. She quickly said, I love you back, only to think that she actually liked him first. So the ball had been in his court for nearly 25 years, 
Wilkerson's mother, Ginny Cook, said the family was delighted when her daughter began dating Alsop. We've known Joel's family as long as we've known him, she said. Marriage We are so pleased when they started seeing each other. He's wonderful to our grandchildren. Fast forward to September 1st, and the pair was married at the Danny Thomas Alsac Pavilion, named for the comedian who founded St. Jude in 1962. Deacon Brent Powell, an Episcopal deacon and the head chaplain at St. Jude, married the couple and recalled how he had witnessed their journey unfold. During your youth, a cancer diagnosis invaded your life, but you endured and defeated it, said Powell, who's known the couple for more than 30 years. Heartfelt words. Now you're giving back, paying it forward. You're two of the most loving people I know, Powell said. It only took you 20 years to confess your love, he said in front of approximately 150 wedding guests. Another wedding guest, Shady Ack, said of the newly married couple, they've loved each other forever. Later in the ceremony, Elsop, Wilkerson, and the two children each lit one of four unity candles in honor of the family they're forming. Today, Wilkerson, now 37, and Elsop, 38, said they're cancer-free, but they're required to submit medical exams every five years to monitor their health. Elsop said, coming back to a place that's so dear to our hearts has been one of the greatest honors of my life. Wilkerson added, thanks to St. Jude, I was lucky enough to marry the love of my life, my best friend. Check out these other videos from Let Me Know. If you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel, all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching.